the lack of dietary fiber leads to leaky gut. I gave an entire lectures before on what causes leaky gut, on autoimmune disease, so I'm not gonna go into all the details right now, but just be aware, you need fiber so that the good gut bacteria can make butyrate, the four carbon fatty acid. These are called short chain fatty acids right here. And that's used by the enterocytes, the gut lining cells to make tight junctions. And if you don't get enough dietary fiber or you eat these things that damage the good bacteria, you end up with leaky gut. There's a whole bunch of them. If I had autoimmune disease, I would go through all these and stop doing all of them. Again, I'll go into that in much more detail in other lectures. Once you got leaky gut, you start absorbing gram-negative endotoxin, which is LPS, lipopolysaccharide, gram-positive endotoxin, which is LTA, lipotychoic acid. That gets into your blood. It makes your blood more prothrombotic. The fibrinogen clotting protein actually changes from an alpha helix uh, shape to a beta pleated sh sheet shape. Alpha helix is like a slinky, kind of cylindrical, versus beta pleated sheet is um, flat and it'll stack up like a deck of cards.